Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. Today we're going to do a walk around of this brand new. I finally own a 2022 TRD Pro Tundra Midnight Black Metallic with the cockpit red interior. So we'll start up front here. As you know, you get the Toyota Heritage Grille. Big Toyota splashed across it. Three marker lights because she's a little wide. LED light bar. Get some fog lights. This Tundra down in camo. One of the main reasons I got black on the Tundra is because of the camo. I felt like the camo would blend in perfectly with the exterior color. Premium LED headlights. They auto level. It's actually very cool. iForce Max engine. BBS forged wheels, which are beautiful. Falcon Wild Peak tires. Marker lights on the side. They look really good at night. Here's a good shot of the tire. 285, 65, 18. It's obviously got that TRD Pro Fox suspension in there, as you can see. Try to get in there to show you that. Got the TRD sway bar. Up front. TRD skid plate. Here's a little Easter egg for you. It says TRD in the marker lights. Instead of it saying iForce Max up here, it says TRD Pro. It's a little different. And it even has a little camo behind it. I don't know if you can see that. Folding mirrors. And what I like about these mirror caps, they're a flat black, like the handles, kind of like the old Pro. Uh, it'll have the matte black handles on it. Well, we got matte black that matches instead of the body color. Small things. I like that. No side steps. Don't really think I want them. The exhaust has a little dual outlet there, which looks kind of cool. Which will make it so you can't get the bed step on the Pro, apparently. Got the camo rear bumpers. TRD Pro splashed across the back. More camo. Marker lights. Cameras for days up there. That window rolls down still, thankfully. Composite bed. I was going to do the spray on, but I didn't do it. I did this. Going to end up putting a bed mat in here. It says Tundra up here. This button on the side, if you push it, it opens up the bed. Pretty plain bed, but it does the job. There's a deck rail system here. Now this Tundra here on the TRD Pro setup can tow just over 11,000 pounds. I think it's 11,175. It has backup sensors, blind spot monitoring. It has everything. Um, pano moonroof on this thing. This is also a handle, obviously, to open up the tailgate. More cameras. This thing's 360 bird's eye all the way through. But a really nice looking truck. And once again, as we see on the side, these fender flares have camo in them. And I thought it would be best with the camo, with the black exterior. And you got red floating around everywhere. It says TRD in those marker lights as well. And you got the red on the suspension, red on the wheels. It just flows together so nicely. Love the new taillights for the Tundra uh, for 2022. As you will see, bright cockpit red. And I will tell you right now, looking through the camera with you, it looks quite bright. But in person, it's not that bad. There's some camo in the seats. Red seat belts I think are very cool. And the black and red flow very nicely throughout the truck. One thing I do wish is it that it had a black headliner, but no big deal. I sat back here in my video yesterday. My head did not hit. Got some LED lights up there. Big pano roof. We have some cool floor liners. The front ones say Tundra TRD Pro. I'll show you that momentarily. So you get some USB ports here, AC adapter, little storage, air vents, cup holders. This also folds down to a cup holder. Seat forward here. You get a little storage over there. There's your JBL subwoofer. So, I mean, you could throw a few things back there, small, nothing crazy. There is no under seat storage if you get an iForce Max, because that is where they keep the battery. You will see, you could put some stuff on the top. I saw somebody asking uh, a while ago on one of the message boards if they make some kind of a pad for this, because they wanted to use it for something. So, if you ever find something to protect it, comment below. Um, you could pretty much make your own kind of... Maybe get some of this, like the floor liner feel, and just lay it across, something like that. But, I mean, it's pretty durable. But again, this is where the hybrid battery is. So if you have the iForce Max, this is what you're dealing with. If you have the regular iForce, this is under seat storage. And on the doors, you get a little more of that cockpit red. Pretty basic door. 
you get your speaker, nothing special, but uh, a nicely new design door. Feels a lot smaller than the old Crew Max door, which was massive. Once again, this still has plenty of room. It's a little bit smaller than the old Crew Max, but you could fit people back here absolutely no problem with a lot of leg room. And the headroom is just fine from what I dealt with. If you're sitting in the middle, you might want to put the shortest person you have in the middle because you will see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, there's some bumps in the floor liner here uh, for, you know, for your taller passengers, but in the middle, someone a little bit shorter could fit no problem. So that is the back seat plane. One thing I want you to know as we go through this truck, got your grab handle there. As much as this is the TRD Pro special edition truck and everything, it still is a fairly plain truck, which is what I like about it. There's no giant graphic splashed across the side. It really only says TRD Pro there and across the tailgate. And obviously on the interior, there's a lot of cues, but Overall, it's not screaming loud, and I love that about this truck. So let's check out what we got in the front. Got some cool stuff here. So you got some memory seats. You got your mirror controls, basic, basic door. <clears throat> they gave you a nice shelf here to lean your arm, which is cool. TRD light bar. Please know, going forward, the TRD light bar only works if you have the high beams on. It will not work on its own without the high beams being on. It's for off-road use only. So then you get like a heated steering wheel. I mean, the basic stuff that we've seen uh, in a lot of Toyotas over the years. Uh, the gas door is no longer just go up to an open. You have to hit the button, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll go over all this in a moment, just showing you 12 inch digital gauge cluster. I will turn the truck on. You get that TRD steering wheel. There's a lot of TRD in this. Driver side grab handle, JBL speakers over there on the pillars. Toyota across the dash looks really good. 14 inch infotainment screen once again jbl all the way through digital mirror which is something that i have to get used to and then the seats say trd pro heated cooled very very comfortable seats red stitching on the center console the new center console setup and again this is only a few days in for me so we'll keep going with it and see what we think i really like it um it seems like there's a lot more places to put things than the last generation could just be me but you get a few cup holders there, and it's got the little tabs in there to hold your drink in place, which is good. You get cup holders back there, a huge cavernous center console, just like the last time, which we will be putting a safe in there. Um, we have a wireless charger, a place to just put random stuff. The TRD shifter looks awesome. And this is the shifter you're gonna get in all the new generation Tundras, but I really, really like it. Drive mode, tow haul, you got your crawl control, uh, multi-terrain select that's where you do it all and your four-wheel drive as you can see if you look at this interior there's really no chrome the only chrome you're going to see is that toyota logo in the middle but all of the vents are shaped differently now they're no longer round but everything is a matte black and i think that is such a huge high five to mike swears and the team because everything flows so nicely together i'm not a big chrome guy and even if you are a big chrome guy, the random rings around the vents and stuff that was in the last gen just didn't really make sense. This helps everything flow nicely. Now, this is coming from someone who has red all over their truck, but I still think it looks better than uh, uh, the chrome. But to each their own, of course. Again, red seat belts look good, but the seats, very comfortable. Great ball string, as you can see over there. Once again, heated, cooled. Just a huge fan of these seats with this interior in general. There's not much bad things you could say about it. It looks awesome. It's functional. In the center here, everything's brand new, of course, but it's still very easy to use. You get your climate control there right under the screen, and then you get some options with your trailer, your views all around the truck with your 360. Um, you know, you get all the stuff you need and not much more than that. There's not a lot of extras on here, right? You get locking rear diff because it's a TRD. Uh, traction control button to turn off your hazards. There's not a lot of crazy stuff. I love it. When I first sat in at 2022, I was like, wow, that's a, a very interesting setup. But even the screen, everything is just extremely user-friendly. Once again, we will turn it on momentarily. Up here, here's something you're not going to hear a lot of people say. A huge high five to Toyota. They've always had a sunglass holder, but now it actually holds bigger sunglasses. I could never fit my sunglasses in there. So high five, once again, Toyota. You're getting a lot of high fives in this truck. But uh, let's turn this thing on and see what you guys think about the 12-inch digital gauge cluster. Okay, we are now in the truck. Let's turn it on. This also says TRD down here, as you can see. It's flashing at me. We'll hit it. it says Tundra. 
iForce Max, and then goes right to the business here. I want to show you something really funny, iForce Max. So we're hopefully going to get some great gas mileage eventually with the iForce Max, but right now the way I'm driving it, 11.8. Brand new engine and I'm having a good time. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm out there really enjoying how fast this truck really is, but there's not a lot to see here. And I know it's the digital gauge cluster and it's brand new for the Tundra and it looks cool, but it's basic when it comes to Toyota. This is the same setup you're gonna see in a lot of different Toyotas. You can just toggle through on the steering wheel down here. You know, nothing crazy, everything's pretty much the same, but you can toggle through to different options, messages, it's all the same stuff that has always, always been there. Radio station, your trailer, gain, all of that stuff. Uh, just, you know, you could turn your options on here. Nothing crazy there, it looks brand new and amazing, but it still is very, very user friendly. Now, if you want to, you can go into the settings here and change stuff on your tack. You could change your options over here. Uh, you know, it's really simple to use. I mean, I'm a few days into it. I've only changed a few things, uh, but nothing crazy. I've, I've toggled through a lot and everything seems very, very, very easy to use. So as we come over here to this big screen, 14 inch, a lot of people will say, I like to address this stuff up front, that this is very distracting for the driver. I will tell you, it is really not distracting for the driver. It is quite large as far as when you're driving down the road, but you really don't pay attention to it. Um, in the day, this will light up, but uh, it really is not that big of a deal. I've not been distracted in the day or night with this screen, but this screen is very, very simple to use. We're gonna go into that one minute. I wanna show you something here. So now you get a digital rear view mirror. This is something I have to get used to. You can flick this here and it goes to a right, hello everyone, and it goes to a regular mirror. You flick it back. It's that digital rear view mirror. It's something quite unique, quite different. I've never experienced it before. So you'll have to let me know what you think uh, in the comments below if you're someone who owns a Tundra, if you like that or not. But uh, so far, so good. It's pretty cool. Just again, something I have to get used to. Uh, the way it's leveled versus the regular mirror is quite different. So as we come back down to here, there you can see your climate control. You could sync it to be the same temperature or it could be different temperatures, it's up to you. Once again, heated, cooled seats here. Uh, just your normal options for the truck. I like the fact that there's heated, cooled seats because I sweat when I eat. So cooled seats are usually on for me. When you come up here, this has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It has everything you'll ever want and it's wireless. That's the difference. This is wireless, so you don't have to plug it in. Now, I have my Apple CarPlay uh, not selected right now. I'm just showing you the regular stuff because I get three free months of Sirius Satellite Radio, as you can see, which I'm using here. But overall, you know, anything you hit, it's extremely easy to use. You get your vehicle alert. There's nothing. Trip information. It's extremely... See, so look at my MPG at the end there when I tried to drive nice and easy. 60 MPG, but this is how I've been driving. Uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of pulls testing it out. Got some history here. It'll show you everything you want to see. Truck's brand new. It's not broken in. You're not going to get that good gas mileage right away. You got your phone there. That's your Apple CarPlay, which I'll show you momentarily. You hit this for settings. There's my name. There's all the stuff you need and you can add all of the things you want and set this up to be pretty much exactly what you need it to be. It works with the Toyota app, the Toyota Connected app. So you can do that as well. You come up here, you start going into Apple CarPlay. You can do your messages. Everyone knows how Apple CarPlay works, but Pandora, uh, you know, you get a lot of different options here. It's going to load my settings here for my stations. So if you want to know the kind of music I listen to, there you go. We get a little 70s, 60s, a little Offspring, ACDC, Frankie Valley. You know, just a nice blend when I'm working. But again, screen's very, very simple to use. You can hit a bunch of buttons here and set it up all you want. If you're driving, you got your navigation, food, drink, shopping, anything you want, and then whatever's playing right here. So again, the screen, extremely simple to use. Everything up front here is very, very user friendly. That is the theme of in here. From the driver's seat, there is your JBL. Here is your driver's side grab handle. Over there, same thing. I love this. And this is only in the TRD Pro. I like the heritage splashed across. I think that's great. Shout out Ivan Stewart, we love you. Um, and up here is where you deal with your moonroof, your door lights, SOS button, basic, basic stuff up here. LED lights, if you want to use them. They look like they don't do much, but at night they are great. And once again, you have your sunglass holder here. So when you go down here and hit the view button, 
it comes up here and it shows you your truck. Now when you're moving, you could start to see things like the camera that looks into your bed, the camera that looks down to your trailer hitch, the front end camera. There's a lot of different 360 options you get. So when you turn the steering wheel, it turns with you, which is very cool. And uh, you're getting a tone. I have the tone muted right now, but you're getting a tone when you're backing up to let you know you're about to hit something. So a lot better than what we used to see. You could come on here and start hitting buttons like this and it'll show you all sorts of different things. You could go auto, turn this off. Okay, so when you stop, every time you stop at like a traffic light or you're rolling up to stop at a traffic light, this will come on and it'll show you all around the vehicle. There's a lot of different things it could show you. There's that bed we were talking about, the uh, camera for the bed. Show you what's in there, make sure it's still secure. How about the sides? That's cool. This is the front and this is the back. Now one thing about this wireless charger you might have heard me talk about quite a few times. It does a fine job, but when you're on bumpy roads, you will start to see that you are not getting the charge completed as you want. It'll break the charge every once in a while. Now, the simple fix I think Toyota can do here, there's a little tab to keep your phone in play and keep it staying right there. They should add another adjustable tab to really hold the phone down, and then you probably won't have that issue. Just wanted to show you real quick what it looks like with all the lights on. So there you have your tail lights. We got the hazards going. There are the marker lights. Marker lights look awesome. Gotta love them. But the taillights look good as well. What do you think? Do you like the new taillights? It's marker lights right in the middle. LED fog lights. Premium LEDs there. They look really good. I think the best 2022 Tundra front end is this TRD Pro with the grill. But let's show you the light bar. Now, once again, if you want to turn on the light bar, you gotta put the brights on. Then you come down to this button and you will see the green light come on. And then we will show you what it looks like. And it is extremely bright on the road. And there it is. So if you take your TRD Pro off-road, it does wonders. So what do you think about that TRD light bar? Are you a fan? Okay, this is just headlights right here. This is headlights and fog lights. And then if you want the TRD light bar to go on, you have to go high beams and that's the light bar and here's a look at the iForce Max engine beautiful 437 horsepower 583 pound-feet of torque she's a beauty what do you think about this this is a v6 remember pretty large for a v6 a lot going on in here it's twin turbo so you get two air boxes over here just put some TRD air filters in here see if we can get these turbos whistling a little bit not a bad looking engine at all, and I can tell you, this thing is extremely powerful. The most powerful Tundra I've ever driven. Before we forget, we gotta push this thing open. It's still here, it's a classic. Gotta have that back window going all the way up and all the way down for sure. The only difference is, the button for it is now up here. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know uh, down below. If We're gonna talk about that iForce Max quite a bit going forward, but uh, it is an amazing, amazing engine. Overall, the truck driving experience is one of the very best Tundras I've ever driven, if not the best, we will learn over time. It's smooth, it's refined, and the engine power is just unreal. So comment below any questions you may have. If I forgot something to show you in here, let me know. But until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, at TundraDude34, TundraDude34, gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe, be well. Happy Halloween.